Hey guys, Beach Potamus here. Today I'm showing you guys an advanced redstone tutorial. And it was mostly focused around logic gates, which can be used to accomplish many different tasks that most people would never have to accomplish in Minecraft. But for you overachievers out there, those of you just curious about how great redstone crafters make their items, this is for you. Now this is the rapid pulser. Now this just creates a pulsed output whenever the input is changed, it's basically constantly. And in simple people terms that means this thing just flashes on and off constantly and it just turns on or off everything that's it's touching. Right here is to demonstrate with the note block. It just keeps going on and off. But it can be combined with this little invention right here called a little line of redstone turned on. And there it goes. You don't even have to have it connected. You just have it just right there like that. You don't have to be touching. So it doesn't shoot any arrows when you have this lever turned off. This is the method I used in my arrow machine gun video. If you guys want to go check that out, that'd be great. As it creates like a big mass if there's about 20 dispensers full of a bunch of arrows in that video. Now we have two different versions of a slow pulser. Um, one is more configurable than the other, but we'll start off with the less configurable one. Also, this one just uses simple redstone torches, a few blocks, and some redstone. As you can see, it's basically a set speed. It goes around the circle, and it triggers just the little blocks like there, but at a much slower pace than these rapid pulsers. So as you can see, it just going around the circle. Bam. But then we can use repeaters to have the same effect, but it's much more... Or much more customizable. There's no S in much. Oh, we can just slam these babies to whatever we want them to, and then the charge goes around exactly to what we want timed. And if it doesn't, we can just add more repeaters in there to make the charge go faster, or slower, just to make the output what we want it to. Now we're gonna head over to some more complicated stuff. Okay, this is a lock. This requires at least two of the levers to be pulled down every volt in order for this charge to be released over here. Let's see, let's find something to put right there to simulate this. Do a note block. Oh, a little pink note. As you can see, the output hasn't changed at all. We slap that, there it goes. Put that down, nothing happens. Another redstone torch just turns off. But as soon as we turn on the middle one again, it gets turned back. Let's see what happens if we turn off the other ones. No effect at all. Both of those are on, the effect will still stand there. But if that is turned up, the charge will go back over to the levers. It's good. Guess you really all just need the middle one and then one other one pulled down. And this could be useful as you could just separate these off with walls and make it very difficult to find if you don't want somebody entering your house. Yeah, this is an RS NAND latch memory cell. And this is pretty simple. Well, concerning these things. Just turn that off. Turn that off. See? Slap it back on. It remembers that you turn this and shut that off. So it just goes back over here. It, it can be used in many different items. And contraptions this you don't need these levers this is usually powered by other circuits coming in here and turning it on and off and making this memory magic but this is it with leather levers you can just imagine the p possibilities there now this is a NAND gate you just simply need both these outputs and all these inputs to be off and the output will also be off and when they're both well yeah if one of them's on it'll be on both the monitor will be on, but they both need to be turned off in order for this output to be turned off. Yeah, it's an XNOR gate, that's how it says to pronounce it. And this only achieves its purpose when both the inputs are the same. And let's see what this is like. Yup. Pretty exciting. Redstone circuitry is fine, it's the way I forgot I had something up there. There we go. There we go, yep, look at that. It's a miracle of engineering. Once again, you could use this to be a little walled off section of like a door turning on device or something along those lines. 
Or you can use circuitry to come along here and just make an extreme invention. Like a lot of people use a lot of this stuff in their digital clocks and calculators that they make. Now don't ask me how to make those as I've not attempted it yet, but it... Yeah, it would be very difficult. It would be very time consuming, but after you've figured out how to make a few of these, it's just repeating the process over and over again. So don't give up on your dream if you want to make one and this lever shouldn't be here, just don't be confused by that. Now we're gonna go over to the purple stuff. So here's the RS NOR latch, it is also a memory cell, it's, it's a lot smaller than the other one. Now in this one, the two outputs are always t opposite from each other. So just this will always be off and this is always on. Now once again, levers are usually not used here, it's usually little circuitry run along here. Activated by buttons or something along the lines like that. I turn that on, and then bam, those two alternate. And there we go. But you have to reset these using an opposite current, such as that. And that. And bam again, it's back there. It's pretty interesting. This has many, many possibilities. I'll leave you guys to discover them for yourselves. Nope, oh, shouldn't put that there. And as you can see, it alternates. These are pretty cool little things that, once again, people use in their clocks a lot, as memory cells are completely necessary. Now, this is an XOR gate. It's kind of an opposite of the other one, which probably make this daytime. And uh, this circuitry over here only activates when the inputs are opposite of each other. So one down, one up, bam, there we go. Once again, many different uses of YouTube. It can be used for alternating times or something like that in a clock. Or just being cool with a bunch of circuitry and make everything look overly complicated. But these are really circuits that are used by many professional redstone makers. As I'm sure there are a few of them guys out there. Okay, now this little doodad right here is probably the most complicated out of the entire redstone circuitry logic gates planes of death. And that is the ore gate. As the name implies, you can turn on the circuit right here by creating input from this lever or this lever. Now I'm sure many of you guys don't understand this, so we're going to go through this step by step process. You put a block down, slap some levers on the side, put some redstone coming out the back and there you go. Now you can have both the levers pulled out at the same time and it will still go. You can only have one and it will still go. It's a pretty marvelous feat of engineering. And here we have an AND gate. You just need both of them down. And there it goes. Once again, many uses. And here's a NOR gate. Once again, either one. It creates an opposite input so it turns this thing off. And that tells us extremely many uses for complicated contraptions. So for all you future redstone master builders out there, if this video helped you at all, remember to give me a shout out and if you make a video about it, if you make a map about it, just go ahead and slap my name on the sign. But for now, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about this video. So just this will just increase the amount of redstone awesomeness posted onto YouTube and it will inspire more redstone awesomeness. awesomeness. I'm just having a speaking problem right now. And this will just overtake YouTube with all this redstone amazingness that you guys are creating. For now, see you later.